Good morning! Good morning from our brand new balcony. We are rocking this thing. Freddy just got back yesterday, so today we can continue with some more work. It's pretty windy and also rainy outside, so we most likely are gonna have to find something to do inside of the house. Okay, change of plans. We are going to work outside. The weather up here changes like super fast. Five minutes ago it was still raining. Now the sun came out. It's still pretty windy, but it's dry at least. And we are going to work. We're gonna build some stuff outside. Outside, yeah. What do you wanna build? I think I would love to have an outside hanging area. Okay. You like that? I'll put I a think? hammock in here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> No, not just a hammock. Too, si too simple? <laughs> yeah. We want something like a deck or like a flat area. Something like this. This right here behind us is our fire pit, but we want to turn this. We're going to bring it to the next level. So we are building a gazebo. Woo! We're gonna build it right here in the back so we have everything already set up and the first thing that we have to do is start leveling the ground so there is some digging to do in here. This is a full workout. My arms are on fire. But we're starting the foundations of a new project, which is very exciting. We haven't started something like that in a while. So, even though it's windy, even though it's rainy, we're not stopping. That thing like is you, so you, heavy. You're so much stronger than me, so how do I do it? Just smoosh it down? Yeah, you smoosh the ground. Like this? Yeah. How romantic. <laughs> After many hours of digging and making sure that this surface is flat, we have accomplished something. We got some sort of a flat surface. It's really hard to get something flat here because this is a mountain. This is the side of a mountain, so it's just hills, hills, and hills. But we managed to create a little, what we can call a flat area. And here is where we're gonna be building this little gazebo. The next step now is to start making it square and start digging the holes. Why did we choose like the windiest day like that we could ever choose from we, we for, did, for this work today? We didn't choose the day. The day chose, chose a, us. us. Ooh. That's, deep, a, that's a deep quote. Yeah, that's a deep quote. Love it. <laughs> 2024. <laughs> okay, the day chose us. Good to know. <laughs> because I have to admit that I'm really, really struggling with the strong wind and all the dust on the floor and it's getting constantly in my eyes and I would love to have any tips how to prevent that. <laughs> you just put water in, in the soil Yeah. and that gets yeah. rid of the dust. It's raining. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's this like bahareke, it's just teeny tiny bit and it's not enough that it would really wet the earth. And I wanted to show you guys something. This morning I made a nice discovery in our greenhouse so so windy, I hope the door will stay there because it's I think day 10 or 11 after planting our seeds and there are some things coming 
There is this teeny tiny little thing over here. And over here, we also have something. I think this is the lettuce, actually. And over here, we have... Okay, this is really difficult to see. <laughs> like, here. We have carrots. So, it seems... It seems like that this is working and it made me very very happy this morning. I actually see you struggling as well with ah. you. Yeah, it's... You get some eyes. Even if I, if I put glasses on, it's I, even worse. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I'm wearing glasses, but it's kind of getting in there. It's uh, windy days are the worst, especially yeah. when it's wind and rain. But we just finished squaring this thing. We already have a perfect square. And now we have to go with a plumb up to start um, getting the levels for where the holes for the footers have to go. Actually, so right now, I remember you saying this morning, what? <laughs> like first thing this morning, you said, okay, the weather is kind of bad. Let's do something inside. <laughs> <laughs> We are not quitting. And yeah, no. We are doing it. Yeah, we, we have to push through. This is actually Freddy's first time using a hole digger. Hole digger. We just Googled it. I think that's what it's called. That's what Google said. Get it out, get it out. Let's see. I have something, a little you bit. You got something. <laughs> I mean, at least, at least a little bit. <laughs> and a little bit. It's time to start pouring the footers. We're gonna use these metal beams and I just welded some rebar pieces on it so we have some extra grip on it. We're going with something very simple. We're just gonna put a concrete in there and then just put this in there so the concrete attaches to it. We didn't wanna go with something crazy, like a super, super crazy crafted footer like the ones that we did for our house because this structure is barely gonna have some weight on it and this is gonna, it's gonna be perfectly fine. already dark but we're still working on our footers this is actually the last one we just want to make sure that we leave this thing drying for tonight so tomorrow we can already start working on the rest of the structure we are mixing metal with wood we are doing metal as the footers in the bottom the part that goes inside of the ground because if we put the wood in there it's gonna start rotting and we don't want that to happen so this combination should be okay I actually used this before for the footers of a greenhouse and it worked perfectly fine. Those things have been standing there super super strong and this ones will do the same. 
One more. Okay, that one is super good. Yeah. I, I, I think... That's oh. right on the money. Nice. Perfect. I just wanted to say that I think I would never ever have expected to say that I live in Panama and that I'm freezing, that it's just <laughs> freezing cold and I'm sitting here in a, in a big jacket, but still like I'm so cold right now. Oh my God. It's a, uh, it's a little it's, chilly. Yeah. It's, it's not only chilly and I'm, I'm German and when I say <laughs> that it's pretty cold right now, it's pretty cold. Where is the rosemary? Right here. Would this be enough? Yeah, amazing. Hey, that's the first time that we are going to cook with our bed and vegetables, our herbs. Yes. This is the first time that we are using something from our greenhouse. So it's, it's officially yeah. our first harvest. So we are going to have little potatoes roasted in the oven with like rosemary potatoes. Rosemary potatoes for dinner. Woo! Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold Good morning in the morning. We are finally back at our outside construction site and today finally the sun, the sun has decided to come back and we are very happy about it, right? Yes. <laughs> so no more rain and we can finally work here. Uh, you. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> there was a sneeze and a cough at the same time. Yeah. That's something unique. Yeah. You can't do that, those things <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so please explain to us, we are so, going to build the construction, right? Today we're going to build the construction. The <laughs> today we're going to start building all the structure. We have all the wood, so we just have to connect the wood to the footers that we did yesterday. And also we have to prepare the wood. We have to seal it, first stain it, then that's, seal it and get everything ready. That's my job. That's Freddy's job. <laughs> you ever feel like going back? Seem to be a drag. You read until your legs gave way, and you cried and got back up again. Since we are working with wood outside, we have to make sure that this is super well sealed and protected because we get around 200 inches of rain every year. And first I apply one layer of, it's a three-in-one product, it's a sealer, it's a stainer, sealer and something else. And after that I apply another layer of sealer so that we make sure that this wood is very, very well protected. I don't know if you can notice, but inside of these footers, there is this tiny metal leap. This is actually like half of an inch. So what we are doing is that we are creating that same pattern, a little dent in the wood with the router. So this is gonna have an extra kind of grip to the footer. And then we're just gonna secure it to the sides with a bunch of screws to make sure it holds it together very well. We already have one of the pieces ready, this one right here, which is completely ready to just put it right there on the footer and start securing it with the screws. I'm also gonna be using some of this special glue. This thing can work. It can glue concrete, it can glue wood to metal, brick to metal, concrete to metal. So I'm just gonna put some of it on the bottom and the part that is gonna go inside of a metal beam to make sure I have some sort of extra grip in there, if that makes sense. 
and then I will go with the screws. Oh. We just got all the footers up, check this out. We got the perfect square, now we have to go ahead and start putting the beams on the top to which are gonna create the shape for, it's kind of the roof, but it's gonna be open. It's mostly like for the look and the aesthetics of the thing, uh, but we have to put some beams up there. After many many hours of sanding and staining the wood, I'm finally done for today. Now Rodrigo can put up or start putting up the wooden boards and I'm super excited how this is going to look like later. Right now I'm just cutting some 45 degrees angles on the edges of these 2x6 pieces. We, we're given like this shape it has nothing to do with structural reinforcement or anything it's used for the look so there's no science behind it we are doing it in both sides and then I'm cutting two little notches one on each side so we can just assemble it on top of the other wooden beams that we already have in place No, you can turn around. Okay. Wow. I haven't seen it yet from, from this perspective. Slowly but surely our little gazebo is taking shape. We already got all the structure down. Check that. I actually love the color. It's a really yeah. good contrast. And now the floor is the next part. We are thinking on doing a fire pit in the middle. Mm -hmm. But we still have to think about that because right now we have a fire pit right next to it and we can just leave that one over there and have this as a hanging area with some benches yeah. and the hammock on that side or we can just get rid of this fire pit and put it right in the middle here what do you think i'm kind of like since kind of half an hour ago i was <clears throat> or my vote absolutely went for putting the fire pit here but now that I'm thinking about it, I think it could also be super cool to leave this as a hanging area. Like, because not every time that we are out here, we're going to make a fire, to be honest. But we can do marshmallows <laughs> right true. here. But we could also hang out here, play games, have a table in the middle. Oh, a table! And, yeah, and then do the marshmallows over there and just leave it there. Okay, we're doing that. Okay. Love it. <laughs>
we are not completely done with our gazebo but we have made some progress and we did some additions like <laughs> the Twinkie lights on top and also we just put a little bench in here this is so cool so this is our progress this thing is not finished yet we still have to do the hanging chairs because we want to do some sort of kind of like hanging chairs yeah. uh, but we still need to get creative with that and see how we can build it in a way where this entire thing doesn't fall over us this is it for today's video thank you so much for all your support we really really appreciate that if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing that oh actually the wow that's <laughs> a lot of fire <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what that means? Yeah. We are on fire, fire, baby. Right now, I really have to say that I'm happy that our fire pit is not right in front of us. Because <laughs> we'll that, be that would ourselves. have been way too close. Anyways, next week I won't be here, so I won't be in the next video at all because my mom is here and I'm going to show her Central America a little bit. So I will be yeah. alone. One week without me. We will survive. Yeah, we will. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so yeah. much. We love you. Big shout out to our people on Patreon. And we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>